Hey guys, today I'm going to be making something that I actually, I haven't tried this since I've been vegetarian, so this is going to be my first time trying this, but today we're going to be making Monty, and I've seen my mom make it enough and helped her make it with cooking classes and just making food for the kids to know what to do with this. So for this recipe, you're going to need some ground turkey and ground beef. I'm going to mix these together. Some onion garlic i'm gonna use two cloves of garlic but i i forgot them in the garage but we're gonna be you could uh pulverize them but i'm just gonna use this thing what is this called again newspaper what is it <laughs> zester zester yeah 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 i'm gonna be using the zester for these things i it was at the tip of my tongue i couldn't remember you're gonna need some wonton skins they they look like this let me show you guys just squares we're gonna be making let's see because there's two options with Monty you could either make them really small or really big and from my mom's experience in cooking classes it's just easier to make the bigger ones because we like to eat them like that anyways just like that and then you're gonna need some spices of uh, salt black pepper white pepper cayenne coriander and some dry greens. This one's mint and basil. And you can add the spices to your taste. It doesn't really matter. Just whatever you like making with your meat. So I'm just gonna cut these. Let me grab my glove. It's pretty straightforward, simple recipe. But it's good that I hear. As I've heard, I mean. Let's do this. <laughs> How do you open this? Okay. Next is to open this and put that in there. And then we're going to be adding the onions and the garlic first. So let me grab my knife. Just, you're not going to use the whole onion. Just use it to your taste. Okay, we're getting everything blended you're just gonna add this and then the onion and then all the spices to your taste and then you're gonna get the wonton wraps ready okay now i'm gonna be adding my spices i decided to add some paprika for color and a little bit of cumin it's it's all to taste just However you like your meat seasoned, that's how you should do it. This is cayenne, okay. I didn't want to confuse myself. They look so similar. Like, look at this. If you don't look at these, this one's paprika, this one's the empty one, and this one's cayenne. Anyone could get confused. So I'm just gonna, I added these. I'm gonna crush these. And you'll see us in a second with how to wrap these. Okay, so I got everything in here. And now I'm going to show you guys this bowl. I'll put the dimensions below me. But this is the bowl that we always use. And we like to add some oil to it, just in case. Just a little bit on the sides, but light spray. And I put my oven at 425. So let's just mix these up. And I have these open already, and I'll show you guys a hack that my mom taught me with these. Okay, so I got my ice cream scoop. This is about a tablespoon, and I have this bowl filled with water, and we're gonna line these up, just like that. It's a very quick and efficient way, and it helps when you have two helpers. Well, my mom would do this part, and then me, my sister and I would sit there and just fold them all. So you'll, you're gonna grab the scoop like that, put it in the middle, and just for the sake of keeping this a little bit short so you guys don't have to sit here and watch me do this for 20 minutes, you grab one like this, 
seal it with the water. And you just fold it like this. And then you make sure that they all fit perfectly and beautifully in a circle like this. It's always the best part. I, I always loved seeing that design that my mom would do with these. So I'm just gonna do this. And then you guys are gonna see us in a second. Okay, so I'm gonna remind you guys that I put the oven at 475 and we're gonna put this in until the sides of it get crispy. I'll show you guys, but this is what it looks like. Isn't that nice? Very beautiful and organized. Now it goes in. So while that's in the oven, my mom showed me this cute little <laughs> hack that you guys can use because halfway through, after our 25 minutes in the oven, we're gonna have to pour some hot water on top of it just so that the Montes can have that soft consistency or else they'd just be dry. You can use a bouillon, like a chicken stock. This is a vegetable stock one. This is vegetable stock. And we're just gonna boil this with the water we're gonna pour on top and it adds a lot more flavor. It's a nice hack. Just that you could pour normal water on top, that doesn't matter, but I just thought this hack would be pretty cool. So I'm just gonna pour a little bit of water, let it boil, and then we'll pour it on top. Now we're it's time for the juice. Now let's get this. I, I like to hold it and then spin it around. Make sure it gets everywhere. It'll make that sound. Make sure to get all of them. Just like that. And this was boiling hot when I poured it in. So we're just gonna put this back in the oven for about 15 more minutes or until all the water is evaporated out of here. No, no, not at 15 degrees. <laughs> 15? 10. <laughs> it's all done. Look at it. Beautiful. Now we're going to wait for it to cool off just a little bit. And then we're going to have our taste test. I hope mom and dad come in time. I'm gonna, we're gonna have our taste test because our mom and dad are out right now. We're gonna have our taste test and then maybe you guys will see them having the taste test too. Okay guys, come on. I'll grab one for Adka. One for Beck. Uh, does Beck like, I don't remember if he likes this. I love them. Okay, that's for you. I love you. You're not hungry? I have one. Oh. And I have some of this um, garlic yogurt. I'm gonna grab myself a plate. I didn't think through how many plates to bring. Just grab some of, just one. Put some of this on top and try it. Is it good, you guys? Yeah, it's crunchy. Yeah, I made sure that the top is crunchy and the bottom is kind of soft. So let's try. Mm. It is good. <laughs> we'll have to save this and have a welcoming party with mom and dad. So you guys will be seeing that too. But of course, thank you guys so much have to follow <laughs> for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and I'll see you again very soon. And make sure to try this. It's really good. Mm -hmm. We'll call our knock in a second. It, it's it's approved.
Bye. <laughs>